Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. So, in the last video, we discussed the path of a typical rib. Today, we will discuss the anatomy of specific ribs and site determination. So, let's get started. First rib first. Let's discuss the descriptive features for the first rib. It is shortest, broadest and most curved rib. The shaft is not twisted like other ribs have and the shaft is flat so that it has superior and inferior surfaces and outer and inner borders. The head of the rib is small and rounded and the tubercle coincides with the angle. Let's have a look at the first rib. This is the first rib and as you can see it has a flat shaft. This is the outer border. This is the inner border. This is the superior surface of the shaft and below it is the inferior surface. This is the head and as you can see it has a round shape. The inferior surface of the shaft is smooth. The superior surface has grooves for subclavian vein and subclavian artery. The grooves for these are separated by a tubercle called as scalene tubercle. The Latin name for this tubercle is tuberculum musculi scaleni anterioris. Let's see the grooves. This is the groove for subclavian vein. This is the groove for subclavian artery. And these are separated by this scalene tubercle. This is the tubercle of the rib. And the area in the blue is the costal cartilage. From this, the rib is attached to the sternum. Let's discuss the side determination for this rib. The anterior end is thicker, larger and pitted. As you can see, this area in the blue. The posterior end is small and rounded, where the head is situated. The outer border is convex. And the upper surface has scalene anterior tubercle. All the other ribs except 10th, 11th and 12th rib have the same features as discussed in the previous video. The link for the video will be in the description. These ribs have some additional features and points which we will discuss right now. Let's jump right to the 10th rib. It has only single facet on the head for the body of 10th thoracic vertebra. This is the 10th rib and this is the single articular facet. Coming to the 11th and 12th rib, these have pointed anterior ends and neck and tubercles are absent in them. These are the 11th and 12th ribs and as you can see, these have pointed anterior ends and these don't have any tubercles or neck. So that is it for today guys, I hope you got an understanding of the topic. Thanks for watching guys and see you guys in the next one.